Miriam is a mother, wife, and skilled seamstress. She lived in Syria with her husband and two children. Everything changed when drought hit her country, the worst drought in recorded history. Food became more scarce and business started to suffer. The drought exaggerated political and cultural tensions and soon war had broken out in her country. In an instant, she and her husband chose to flee from the war and violence. Miriam left everything behind to keep her children safe and traveled almost 200 miles by foot to find safety in eastern Lebanon. This is the story of millions, people who have been forced to flee from their homes because of climate or extreme weather changes. Some are forced to flee quickly due to a sudden natural disaster such as a hurricane, tsunami, flood, or wildfire. Others are forced to leave their home because the environmental conditions are deteriorating, causing violence and poverty that threatens their safety. In turn, the climate emergency is converging with other threats to drive new displacement and increase the vulnerability of those already forced to flee. Increasingly, more and more people are now pushed to move against their will. Since 2008, each year an average of 21.5 million people have been forcibly displaced because of weather-related and often sudden onset disasters. In the last decade alone, there's been more than two times as many people displaced due to climate-related events than conflict and violence alone. Sadly, the millions of people who are displaced by climate and weather events don't have the same protections under international law. Many will not have the same rights to seek asylum or refugee status. Climate disasters are projected to double the number of people requiring humanitarian assistance to over 200 million each year by 2050. Predictions for how this issue will develop in the future are dire and show just how urgent it is to take action right now.